Here we have three examples of the first Victorian halfpenny rose red stamp. This little stamp was first issued in the UK on the 1st of October 1870 and was in production for 10 years. The halfpenny stamp was introduced into the postal system following a reduction in the postal rate for newspapers and postcards. To represent its value, the stamp was designed to be half the size of the corresponding one penny stamp. Well, let's take a look at that size difference now. So, are they exactly half the size of this penny red? Probably not, but you get the point they were trying to make. More interestingly though, they are the smallest UK postage stamp ever issued at 17.5mm by 14mm. And it was their small size that earned them the cute nickname Bantams. A plate number was engraved in the design in the left and right side of the lacework here and here. But as can be seen on these other two examples, they are often obscured by cancellation or postmarks and therefore are hard to make out. The stamps were also watermarked with the word halfpenny that extends across three stamps when you put them together. This little stamp met with disapproval during its time as the design was unpopular with the public. Difficulties also arose when the printer's original intention had been to issue these stamps in a shade of light green but experiments to produce an ink in that hue proved to be time consuming so they dropped that plan and used rose red ink instead. The Bantam's replacement happened 10 years later in 1880 with the introduction of a standard size stamp inscribed postage halfpenny and was printed and issued in light green by Delarue. Similar in design to this one here although this is a postage revenue halfpenny stamp. Well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at this underrated stamp. I love the fact that it's the smallest one we've ever produced here in the UK. So do you have this one in your collection? Let me know in the comment section down below if you do. More videos are coming up, so please do subscribe if you haven't already done so. And until the next one, bye for now.